Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Petty here. Now, I have got the best news ever. The whole Victron solar system has been um, put into place and we've had it running for about two weeks now and we've been doing lots of testing and things like that as a part for running the cool room. And it is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So what I wanted to do was give you a bit of a brief rundown of what we have here. So you would have remember from previous videos that um, with the solar panels we have on the roof here, and um, we're close to about, oh, it's about it's a 6,000 um, watt system. So that's all on, on the roof. And as it comes down, it goes into the solar controller, which is this guy here. Now this is the MPPT 450 slash 100. Now the 450 is, represents 450 volts. Now this particular guy has got two strings or two lines coming in. So if we have, imagine one bank of solar panels and another bank of solar panels, that's two separate strings, strings one and two. They come in to this and regulate your solar charge as per any normal solar charge, um, solar controller, sorry. And the 100 represents 100 amps. So from this solar controller, it then comes down into the battery setup, which is what we have here. Now what we've got is got, we've got two Lynx distributors, one on either side with a Lynx shunt in the middle. So basically the way that it works is that from the controller, it comes down into the Lynx distributor. It reg the shunt regulates the, um, the voltage and the amperage sends it across to this one here and then sends it down to the batteries. Absolutely fantastic. Then what happens is that it then comes back to the Lynx distributor up to the inverter. Now this, in, this is the inverter which converts the, um, the voltage. So we've got a 48 volt system here. So this will convert the 48 volts into your standard Australian um, 240. So from here, it then goes to the switchboard. From the switchboard, it's then distributed through the shed, cool room, things like that. Normal power outlets, lighting circuits, and things like that. So that's the way it really works. As a nutshell, absolutely fantastic. So we have the 48 volt, um, 5,000 um, watt, 70 amp unit. So that's our inverter here. Now, really what happens at this point is that the shunt is the brains of the whole unit. It regulates everything. And this is then connected to this little guy here called the servo. And the servo is like the link between all the different components to make everything work. But what I find absolutely fantastic, and then because I'm a simple sort of fella, is this little display here. So this is the um, little touch, touch screen. And as you can see, you know, it's saying that we've got our batteries are 100% full. On this side here is that the solar panels are just generating 61 watts, charging into the battery. And we have, as it goes back up into the inverter and comes across, we have a load of 12 watts. Now that 12 watts is represented in basically an LED running of the system. So you've got a, a green light there, I've got a flashing light here, I've got some lights here, and also running the, um, the solar, contro the solar um, controller this side. So that's your output. So as a nutshell, the whole system is absolutely cranking. But what I want to do is show you when we put on a load. So what I'm going to do is go into the cool room and I'll turn on the cooler and I'll show you what happens here on the, um, on the little touch screen. So I'll see you soon. All right, so I've set up the, um, and I've turned on the, the cooler in the cool room. And what we're finding is that after our testings and things like that, that what we're finding is that it takes around about 15 minutes 
for our three by three by three cool room to cool down to the temperature that is just on the, the aircon. So that's 16 degrees. Now I reckon for us, once soon as we got our cool bot landing here in, in Australia, because I've been waiting for about five to six weeks now, and they're waiting for their shipments to come in from America. And it must be that the CoolBot system is, is, people are now starting to find it, and it's just going off. Absolutely fantastic. Especially for those farm environments where, you know, you really want to keep your, your, your produce cool and things like that, that longer shelf life. And um, so, yeah, so anyway, absolutely fantastic the way it's all working together. But getting back to the solar, what we've found is, we can now see that the load's picked up to about, um, what's that, 1,500 watts. Now the solar panel and, the, and the, um, the shunt have now said, right, we've got a heap of load that we, is required, and it's opened up the panels. So now we've got you know, close to about 1,700 watts coming in from the solar panels. So we've got more than enough um, for the panels and the system to run the cooler. So you can see this little line here, it's coming across from the solar controller into the battery. We're doing a little bit of a charge and we're going back up into the inverter and across to the load. Now the only load really I've got on is just that cooler and, the, and those small little, I think it was what, 20 watts or something like that to run the LEDs on the system. Now this is going to take around about 15 minutes for the cool room to get cool and that'll drop to around about 300 watts. So what we'll do is um, we'll sign off now and then we'll come back and I'll show you the, um, the change in the system. All right, so I'll see you soon. All right, so about 15 minutes has passed and the cool room has cooled down. And what I wanted to show you now was what was actually happening on the, on the display. So the cool room is now regulating itself and you can see that it's only um, drawing or have, has a load of 320 odd watts. And the, um, the shunt itself is regulating the power, so it's maintaining more than what's required for the load, plus we're just keeping the battery at float, or just, just topping up the battery where required. And this is what I'm finding absolutely amazing, is that the technology for this is just ace, with a very, very simple screen. Now, if we found that we needed to have more power or we needed to put more um, solar panels on the roof, this is what I'm finding the, the, the best thing about the whole system with Victron is that I can just bring in one more component. So I need, we want to put another two strings on the roof, I bring another solar controller in and bring it in into the system. At the moment, because we're going through our test phase, we can see below me here, this is all the batteries that I've got. Um, so I've just got four batteries. They're 190 amp, 12 volt each, giving us 190 amp at 48 volt. Now, we certainly need to pick up more. So at the moment, what happens during the evening when the sun drops off, these battery banks give me five hours for the cooler to run. And that's pretty consistent now. So what I need to do is actually get through that evening plus a little bit more. So typically over summer is when the system's going to be used. So we're sort of looking at another three banks. And this is where the calculations from the original sort of posts really came from. So I've got four, I can run, each distributor runs, has the capability of running up to four different banks. Now, if I find that it's still not enough, I put another one on here. I mean, <laughs> it's just absolutely fantastic. And so what happens is that we it's modular. And if you find that with whatever circumstance or whatever it might be that you need more power, you need more batteries, you need more whatever, you can just constantly keep on adding and adding and adding. And that's really in my eyes one of the best situations that you could ever find yourself on a lot of them were a fixed system and that's what I needed to avoid as much as possible now what's happened is that the the air conditioners kicked back in 
So we and I'll show you the temperature. So we're just running at 1500 watt now, and the solar panels or the shunt has now seen that and is giving us more power. So if I come back here to the temperature, what's happened here is that it's now kicked in and it's set at 16 degrees. This is the lowest I can get this cooler to work. Now that the, um, the extra, the, the, now that I can see that the load has increased, it's dropping that temperature again. And it's dropping, it's at 15, dropping to 14, and so on and so on. And that's how it all regulates itself. Absolutely fantastic. So, the Victron solar system is in. The cooler, as a part of its setup, is probably about 80% there. I'm wait, like I said before, I'm waiting on that cool bot to come in, and we need to do some test, um, some tests, and make sure we, we're running through that system well for the cool bot. I've got to put a some um, shelving in there for our vegetables and things like that. So. It's not that far off, probably only about, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe two or three weeks. And, um, and then that'll be up and running and I'll have the new batteries ready to go by then. Uh, touch wood. And, and then we're really on the way. So this, as a part of the system, is absolutely, my, my vote of approval here at Fat Cow Farm is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Now, as a lot of you would know that we're going through the motions of uh, becoming 100% self-sufficient for this year, and it is working an absolute treat, an absolute treat. Um, I think what's been happening is that um, for next year, uh, that I can already see, we obviously need to plant a little bit earlier, because what we're finding is that there's tomatoes and cucumbers, onions and things like that, not a problem. We've just harvested this weekend all our potatoes for the next three to four months. So we'll do a little bit of a video about that. But it's the variety that is really starting to shake up a little bit. Um, so the eggplants are now just about to come in, um, which will be a fantastic change. The zucchinis are about to come in. So there's a lot going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So but we'll talk about that now. Um, over the next couple of weeks about how this is really panning out. But getting back to the Victron, all about setting up your Victron system, 6,000 kilowatt, um, yeah, 6,000 watts up on the roof on a 5,000 kilowatt system here on the wall. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.